Welcome to Know Your Mobile. I'm Basil, this is the ZTE Grand SLTE, and we're here to give you a quick hands-on first impressions of this incredibly thin device. The Grand SLTE is just 6.9 millimeters thin. That is despite its full HD 1080p display. This puts it online with the likes of the Sony Xperia Z. Um, however, unlike the Xperia Z, this device is not waterproof. The ZTE Grand SLT also packs a quad core 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. Looking around the actual phone itself, as well as that 5 inch display, you've got three capacitive buttons down below, which you may be able to make out. Up at the top is a front facing camera and an LED light, while to the right is a ZTE insignia. The left side is a volume, uh, sorry, is a dock connector and a micro SIM card slot, while to the right hand side is a power volume rocker, is a volume rocker and a micro SD card slot. Up at the top, you've got the power button and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the reverse is a 13 megapixel camera and it's got a slight raise there, a bit of a bump, um, and you've got a ZT insignia again. Down below is the micro USB power connector. Overall, this device impresses us. We've got the glossy version, but it's also available in a range of colours. As you can see, there's a uh, soft pink one there. We can zoom in and you can see there is, in fact, if that focuses, a striking red colour over there. White colour here is really baby blue, even very, very impressive range of colours. It's kind of combining Nokia and an HTC One X in one phone. We're assuming the price point is also going to be extremely, extremely competitive. Given the expandability memory on the board, um, we're really impressed. They've also redrawn the UI, and we can see it does run Android. However, there's this weird floating button here. This is always going to take us back, and if we drag it out, it's going to give us all the functionality that our soft keys, uh, sorry, our capacitive buttons at the bottom will give us as well. If we open up the app store, the app store has also been redrawn. Pull down the notifications bar, and again, redrawn, we can quickly access our quick settings, and there are a range of shortcuts for accessing quick toggles. So that's been a quick hands-on with the ZTE Grand SLTE. Thanks for watching Know Your Mobile. If you have any questions, please fire us a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you like it.